Accept who you are. Unless you're a serial killer. I learned compassion from being discriminated against. Everything bad that's ever happened to me has taught me compassion. My grandmother started walking five miles a day when she was 60. She's 97 now, and we don't know where the heck she is. I think we need more love in the world. We need more kindness, more compassion, more joy, more laughter. I definitely want to contribute to that. I ask people why they have deer heads on their walls. They always say because it's such a beautiful animal. There you go. I think my mother is attractive, but I have photographs of her. You know, it's hard work to write a book. I can't tell you how many times I really get going on an idea, then my quill breaks. Or I spill ink all over my writing tunic. In the beginning there was nothing. God said, let there be light. And there was light. There was still nothing, but you could see it a whole lot better. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means follow that path. I'm a vegan. I respect the environment and I do my best to spread the importance of such an issue. Beauty is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about knowing and accepting who you are. It's our challenges and obstacles that give us layers of depth and make us interesting. I believe we're all put on this planet for a purpose, and we all have a different purpose. When you connect with that love and that compassion, that's when everything unfolds. The only thing that scares me more than space aliens is the idea that there aren't any space aliens. We can't be the best that creation has to offer. I pray we're not all there is. If so, we're in big trouble. The world is full of a lot of fear and a lot of negativity and a lot of judgment. I just think people need to start shifting into joy and happiness. As corny as it sounds, we need to make a shift. I think the most important thing in life is self-love, because if you don't have self-love and respect for everything about your own body, your own soul, your own capsule, then how can you have an authentic relationship with anyone else? When you take risks you learn that there will be times when you succeed and there will be times when you fail, and both are equally important. I'm a comedian first. I've learned how to act. I just draw on life experiences and that's how I've learned. I didn't take classes or anything. I don't need no book. Find out who you are and be that person. 
That's what your soul was put on this earth to be. Find that truth, live that truth, and everything else will come. I think the most important thing in life is to be true to yourself. Whether you are gay or straight, black or white, male or female, just be true to who you are. Procrastination is not the problem. It is the solution. It is the universe's way of saying stop, slow down, you move too fast. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. I'm grateful for every scar, some pages turned, some bridges burned, but there were lessons learned. Be kind to one another. Bye, bye. I believe in kindness, compassion, and empathy, and I believe that the world needs more of it. Normal is getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work and driving through traffic in a car that you are still paying for. In order to get to the job you need to pay for the clothes and the car. And the house you leave vacant all day so you can afford to live in it. We focus so much on our differences and that is creating, I think, a lot of chaos and negativity and bullying in the world. And I think if everybody focused on what we all have in common, which is, we all want to be happy. The most important thing in your life is to live your life with integrity and not to give in to peer pressure. To try to be something that you're not, to live your life as an honest and compassionate person, to contribute in some way. When you have a tough day, and things don't go your way, what do you need to take responsibility for? You need to acknowledge the situation, the other person's feelings, and what you can do to fix the situation. We need more kindness, more compassion, more joy, more laughter. I definitely want to contribute to that. True beauty is not related to what color your hair is or what color your eyes are. True beauty is about who you are as a human being, your principles, your moral compass. I think people need to be encouraged to be themselves more, to be authentic. I think there's just a lot of pressure to be something that you're not. My point is, life is about balance. The good and the bad. The highs and the lows. The pina and the colada. I work really hard at trying to see the big picture and not getting stuck in ego. I believe we're all put on this planet for a purpose, and we all have a different purpose. The only thing that scares me more than space aliens is the idea that there aren't any space aliens. We can't be the best that creation has to offer. I pray we're not all there is. If so, we're in big trouble. My stand-up is not about politics. It's not about issues. 
It's about the human experience and how we relate to one another. Normal is not something to aspire to, it's something to get away from. I'm a human being, I'm a woman, I'm a mom, I'm a lesbian, I'm an advocate for the rights of every human being. The list goes on and on, and I'm a lot of things. But one thing I am not is a liar. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to tip your waitress. Ellen DeGeneres is an American comedian, television host, actress, writer, and producer. She is best known for hosting The Ellen DeGeneres Show, a daytime talk show that has been on the air since 2003. Prior to her talk show, she was a stand-up comedian and had her own sitcom Ellen in the 1990s. DeGeneres has won numerous awards for her work, including 30 Emmys, 20 People's Choice Awards, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom. She is also known for her philanthropic work and activism, particularly in the areas of animal rights and LGBTQ plus rights. Thanks for watching. If you like, please share and subscribe.